Real estate used as a tool for wealth building and used as a tool to outpace inflation. Hello, I'm Jason Walker, and in this video I'm going to share with you what this means and what the past 60 years worth of history tells us. But before we jump into that, I want to read a short testimonial to you that come in. Uh, thanks for all your help in making our dream home a reality. We really appreciated that you went the extra mile to get us the best price for our home. You are truly a professional. Uh, this come in from John and Rhonda. It's a, it's a pretty short and sweet one today, but I uh, duly appreciate uh, what they had to share with us. Uh, but anyway, back to the topic at hand. Um, when exploring the benefits of home ownership and the ownership of all classes of real estate, it's more important it's more than just having a place to call your own, right? Among its many advantages, home ownership stands as a safeguard against inflation and a strong vehicle for long-term wealth accumulation, right? Like that's, the, that's one of the goals here. Um, inflation is the overall upward price movement of goods and services in an economy. As prices rise, the purchasing power of money erodes. Inflation is also considered a shortage of money. Uh, we don't we don't hear about this in the mainstream news so much, but it is considered a shortage of money in the supply chain of money in a world based on you know in the world based on population densities. All econ all economics are based on supply and demand, right, including money. So in simpler terms, as inflation rises, each dollar you have buys a smaller percentage of goods and services. The same inflation that is driving the rising mortgage rates is also putting an upward trend on home prices and all other classes of real estate. Over the past 60 years, um, homes have appreciated in value at an annual, this is an annual or yearly appreciation rate of 5.56%. This is according to the Federal Reserve economic data. You can go research this out yourself. As a homeowner, you want to benefit from this inflation, or excuse me, from this appreciation. Inflation for the same period of time, or over the course of the same 60 years, average 3.7 percent so let's stop there for a second and digest that appreciation has been going up at an annual rate of 5.56 percent inflation has been rising as well at 3.7 percent uh, that's roughly just shy of two percent difference like one 1.8 we'll just call it 1.8 percent uh, this is that statistic come to us from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. This is why home ownership is considered an effective hedge against inflation. Well, why is that? I'll give you one word: scarcity. They ain't making no more land no more, and what the good Lord give us is what we got. That's what it boils down to. Now, governments on the flip side, they will continue to fabricate more money, also known as national debts, right? But governments cannot fabricate more land. So real estate is the true hedge against inflation. Now real estate, unlike any other assets, is, is a tangible real estate, or a tangible asset, sorry. It's a tangible asset. You can feel it, touch it, see it. Shoot, you can even smell it, right? Um, it will grow you wealth. It will put a roof over your head and shelter your family. You can also run a business out of it or you can run your business out of your shop. So I ask, I'm going to leave you this with, with this question. What other wealth building tools offer all of these benefits? If there is one out there, I, I would like you to leave a, a comment down in the comment section uh, because I, I have not found an asset tool that will, will offer all these benefits that we just listed. Now, history has shown us that over the long term, the value of real assets tends to go up or tends to rise at a rate that at least matches, if not outpaces, inflation. Think back in history. 
there are wars that have been fought over real estate, right? Dating back to the Louisiana Purchase. Think back to, you know, think back in history about that. The United States purchased land from the French or from France for four cents an acre. That, that's about what it averaged out. Four cents an acre. What's an acre of land worth to you now? So as the price of goods and services increases, so does the value of real estate. Making home ownership and the ownership of all classes of real estate a strategic and classic move against pressures of inflation. So anyway, uh, if you like what you had, if you heard here, like what you heard here, drop a note or a comment down below. If you got a story to share, I'd like to hear about that. Uh, or if you got any questions about what this means to you, I'd like to uh, talk to you about that too. So drop that question down in the comments. Uh, thanks for being a subscriber and catch you on the next video. Talk to you later.